Eight on your side has some new information about a recent murder-suicide and the call to 911 that a mother believes could have saved her daughter's life. Lenore LaRoe is not only heartbroken about what happened, she's troubled by the call for help that failed to save her daughter. Eight on your side, investigative reporter Masa Saidi is here. And Masa, when deputies got to the scene, silence. Yeah, that's right, Keith Stacy. Absolutely no response at all. The question tonight is when can and when should law enforcement break down your door to possibly save your life? And when I first came in here today, I felt nauseous and uh, weak. It's hard for Lenore Laro to be inside her daughter's home. It's devastating. It's devastating. She only wants to share this memory, not a recent picture of her daughter and not her name, but... We want to try to save another woman. Yeah. She yeah. feels what, what she must thing? share her story. The whole tragedy, horrific situation is done. But if you could help another human being, that makes me want to cry. That's what we're here for. This was supposed to be her new beginning. Yes. Mm-hmm. A beginning that ended abruptly when deputies say Laro's daughter was killed by her new boyfriend, Dr. Benjamin First. Tonight, new information on this murder-suicide revealed and the autopsy reports. Deputies believe the couple was breaking up. The doctor's clothes packed near the front door. Shortly before 11 that June night, there was a 911 hang-up call from her phone. We don't know what was said, but records show this was categorized as a medium priority call, and the response was immediate. Two Pinellas deputies spending more than an hour on scene trying to make contact, calling, knocking on doors, watching windows, and listening. They say when they had no response and saw nothing suspicious, they left. Your worst fear is that she was alive and they didn't Could have get been to alive, her. Yes. Did you or anyone in your family hear from her after she had made that 911 call? No. Nothing. 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 The day after that 911 call, deputies broke down the door to do a welfare check. Inside, they discovered Laro's daughter was dead. A tragedy, but the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office says before that moment, the facts and the law did not allow them to force their way inside a private residence. Laro feels domestic violence calls should be treated differently. You would have wanted them to go in that Absolutely. night? Absolutely. If somebody's telling you I need help, come in. I would never call 911 unless my life was in danger. But the thing is that people do call 911 over little things or when they're just mad at their spouse. Based on the facts before us right now, it does appear the deputies did not have enough to break down that door and to help mm -hmm. this woman, possibly. Mm -hmm. So what is the latest on the 911 call, the transcript? Are we going to get a copy of that, and if so, when? That's exactly the question that we ask. Now, even though this is a murder-suicide, deputies say the case is still open, but any day now they say that the toxicology is going to be complete, and once that happens, we're going to be able to get everything we need to analyze this. We'll listen to the 911 call. We're going to request the video, everything. Yeah. All right. You feel thank for you. that mom, though, for really? sure. Yeah. All right, thank Awful. you. And if you have a problem that you would like Masa to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline 1-800-338-0808.